This is the frill block. It can also be adjusted to be a peeper. Firstly, cut the background fabric into two pieces, about one third and two thirds in size. Then take the frill and fold it in half lengthwise and iron with the right side out. Change the stitch length to long on your machine, like this. Then sew a long straight stitch about one and a half centimetres from the edge of the frill. It's not the folded edge, but the edge with the two cut sides. Make sure you leave long thread tails at the beginning and the end. Then sew another straight line about another half a centimetre away from the first line. Make sure the two lines are parallel and that they don't ever touch. Again, make sure you leave long thread tails at the beginning and ending of both lines. The thread tails should look like this at both ends. Then hold the top threads from both stitching rows and pull them to gather the frill. It can be a little bit fiddly, so just keep adjusting it as you need to and be careful not to snap the threads. You can work from the other end as well to bring the gathers into the centre of the frill. Make sure you only hold the top threads and pull the top threads to gather the fabric. Then take your frill and see if it is the same size as the background fabric. It may need a little bit of adjusting and pulling of the gathers to make sure it is the same size. You can lightly iron your frill so that it sits flat. This makes it easier to work with. Then Pin your frill along the top edge of the larger piece of background fabric. Make sure all the cut edges are in line with each other. Reset the straight stitch on your sewing machine by turning your machine off and on again. Then use a quarter inch foot to sew the next section. Sew the frill to the background fabric with a quarter inch seam which is measured by the quarter inch foot. Don't worry about the gathering stitches, just sew over them. Then place your smaller piece of background fabric on top of the frill and pin along the edge. Keep checking it and make sure that all the edges are even like this. Then sew straight through all the layers again using the quarter inch foot. Then 
and iron the top piece upwards so that it sits flat. All the seams on the back will be sitting together. The gathering stitches will be unpicked later, so don't worry if you can see them at the moment. Then, top stitch by sewing a straight stitch about two millimetres away from the seam. It will look like this. Now, go back and unpick all the gathering stitches that you can see. Once you've finished unpicking, your block will be finished. 